Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about frequency response feelings. I want to get you uh, sensitive to how important a flat frequency response or you know near flat response we can get in our rooms as possible. Typical room response has peaks and valleys. I mean, look at this graphic. It's that standard double bump below 70 and then that slide into 70. We've done numerous videos about it. Look at the peaks and the dips. Look, there's 20 dB variance there. Well, you don't have to know anything about physics to know that 20 dB slide is horrible. That's a lot of data. And we hear a quarter dB resolution in our studio. I can hear a half a dB, 30, 40, 50 hertz in our studio. So resolution has its pluses and minuses, I guess one could say. So we always have those peaks, you know, in the typical room response below 80. And we've got that slide in the 70. It's di difficult to connect with the music when you have all these peaks, when you have all this exaggeration, and then you have all this attenuation with dips. Attenuation, you're not hearing anything. You're missing. And with the peaks, you're hearing too much. So you're hearing too much, you're not hearing enough. It's, it's this situation constantly, right? So to connect emotionally, we've got to have more balance. We need a smooth response. Let's look at this graphic. You know, there's a really smooth response. That was a mastering room we did. I mean, that's over the top smooth, but mastering rooms have that 90% resolution requirement. You can see it here, okay? Room must be pressure balanced. We got two issues in a room, pressure, low frequency, reflections. Both of those have to be balanced. Both of those take separate technologies. Both of those take different treatments on each wall. Both of those take different everything, okay? So it all has to be calculated. The fundamentals got to have strong definition. I talk to people all the time and they go, oh, well, my bass sounds horrible. That's just the way bass sounds. No, it doesn't have to be like that. You can have the same resolution that you get with middle and high frequencies. Maybe not quite so much highs, but definitely with middles. It's hard to get low frequency to float through the air like highs can with diffusion symbols in China, things like that, okay? So the fundamentals have to have attack and decay, but the harmonics, the first order, second, third, fourth order harmonic, they gotta be able to live and die on their own, okay? The room can't get in the way. We gotta minimize room distortion. We gotta get the room out of the way as much as we can. Unfortunately, in order to do that, we have to make the room smaller with treatment. It's the way it is, but it's worth the trade-off because to get connected emotionally to your music, you got to be able to hear everything. In order to hear everything, you have to have a flat, smooth response curve or as flat as you can get, right? And in order to do that, you have to treat each surface area, each surface area that has different frequency and amplitude issues. So you got to, you know, you got to, Think about this. You got to have a strategy, like our homepage, our new homepage says. You got to have a strategy. People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. Well, don't. No, it's too difficult. Acoustics is too difficult. And here's the thing about acoustics every step we take is built upon the step we took before it. You can't skip steps. You'll pay for it. You'll pay for it in the end. And here's the problem you've taken all these steps since the one you skipped, and you can't go back. You're stuck with what you get because you skipped those steps. Got to be careful. Frequency response feelings. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.